Hey, what is up guys? Today what I have for you is probably what I consider to be the best build to clear Apocalypse difficulty by far. I went through 3 to 4 whole campaigns on Apocalypse with this build and I felt like I was playing the game on story mode. It was just that easy. You are 100% invincible in this build. And not only that, you also have a ridiculous amount of damage. You can just see here, it doesn't matter who you are fighting, they all just get deleted while you just stand there without even breaking a sweat. Now this is all thanks to one of the new relics that you get from the Forgotten Kingdom DLC and that is the Bloodless Heart Relic. This relic is totally busted, like seriously you get 50% use speed and you get an invulnerable shield for 3 seconds that negates literally all the damage that you can get. That's 3 seconds where you can take absolutely zero damage no matter what happens. Using this and pairing it with the new buffed up emergency switch and the conservation seal where if you had 50% or lower health then the chance to use your relic is 0%. You will have infinite relics and all you really need is just these two items to get infinite relics. That's just crazy. We can constantly just keep spamming our relics to get that endless invincibility. It's just so silly and I love it. Now what gives you your DPS in this build is truly the archetypes that we pick and our main is going to be the Archon. We will deal almost all of our damage through our mods and the reason Archon is just so good on a relic build is that it's relic perk which is the power leak, every time we use a relic we will get mod power back. This is how you can see me just spamming mods so much is because every time we use a relic we get a big burst of mod power for both of our weapons which just allows us to constantly spam our mods for an insane amount of DPS. We don't really have to worry about getting any defensive rings or bonuses since the relic will give us all the protection that we need. This way we can use all of our rings to get as much mod power and damage as we can. So firstly we get stone and malevolence to get additional mod power with our elemental attacks. Since I mostly use the sandstorm mod on our monolith we get an insane amount of mod power back consistently. Then we use burden of the warlock, this reduces our mod power cost by 15% but we lose health every time we use our mod. Now this is actually important because we need to get our health to 50% to make sure we use our amulets and to get those infinite relics. With this ring we can get to that 50% really easily and stay there at all times. Then to make use of all the grey health that we will have, we use the ring of the damned. Now this increases all of our damage by 0.4% for every 1% grey health that you have present and if we have 50% grey health then altogether you'll get 20% bonus damage and also a 5% crit chance added on top of it. So overall it's just an amazing ring to use and especially for this build. As for your weapons and mods, you can run anything that you like. I went for the star shot gun that has the big bang mod, which I personally think is one of the strongest mods that you can use. It does do friendly fire so keep that in mind if you plan to take this weapon into multiplayer. It does a lot of damage if you consume all of your charges at once. Plus it applies burning which in return will give you a mod power back faster thanks to the ring of malevolence. I added spell weaver onto this weapon just so I can play around with spells as well. Then our main weapon is going to be the monolith with the sandstorm mod. The sandstorm not only does decent damage but also applies exposed which in return will have enemies take more damage. And for the mutator I added in feedback which is just overall the best one to use for mod builds. You can regenerate a lot of mod power from just using your mods constantly and it gets your mod power back from the damage it deals as well. So overall this is the entire setup that you need. For the second archetype you can go for anything that you like. I played around a lot with the Ritualist, Summoner and the Invoker but you can go for anything that you like. Now one thing and I am certain all of you are thinking and surely will comment for this build. Oh this is a relic build then if a boss spawns with empathy then this build would be absolutely useless and will just keep on feeding bosses health. Well let me show you how good this build is even with empathy.
Even with empathy, you can out DPS any healing that they get from our relics. Even with just our sandstorm, we can out DPS the healing from our relics. Also, with the new patch, if you apply bleeding onto the bosses, you can reduce the amount of healing they receive by 50%. So, using your skill from the Ritualist to apply bleeding, or even using the Scrap Shot mod to apply bleeding, you can easily reduce the effect of empathy and still do a ridiculous amount of damage. I played through many runs and was really hoping for the effects element to resist and empathy at once. And to my surprise, I got them to come on the Venom boss. With both elemental resist and empathy, we could still out DPS the boss and any healing it gets while constantly spamming our relics and being completely invincible. And there you have it, this build does absolutely everything and clears Apocalypse difficulty and makes it look like it's just easy mode. Now a quick look at our traits. All you really need is kinship just in case you use summoner or play online and if you decide to go in with mods that you can do friendly fire. Swiftness for movement speed. We don't really need any health or healing traits and we don't need them at all. We get spread for more mod power generation, expertise for skill cooldowns, amplitude to increase the size of our skills and mods, chakra for mod duration and then we get revivalists to increase the speed of our revives. Just if you happen to play online, you can revive your team here super quickly with this. Then to finish, Glutton to increase our Valak Q speed and Footwork to increase our aim speed. You also don't need any concoctions or any consumables to make this build work. And that's basically it. That's everything you will need to clear just about anything in the game. I do feel like the Valak is just way too good and makes the game feel a whole lot easier to play. If you're having trouble with any of the content in the game, do give this build a try and let me know how you guys found it. All you need to do when playing with this build is just spam your mods before a fight and get your health to that 50% mark. Then that's it. Keep spamming your mods and relic and it will kill any boss within just seconds. Keep in mind that you will only have time to launch one or two mods before you have to use your relic again. You will be at 1 HP at most times so keep that in mind if you do happen to get a single hit, you will die. So keep using your relic after each time you launch a mod. I hope you all enjoyed this build and are having fun with the new DLC. What are your guys thoughts on this? Have you tried this new relic? Let me know. I will catch you all next time. Another segment.